Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the Miller Electric Filter 130. So, in this video, I'm going to go over what this little unit does, what it can do, um, talk about its capabilities, and we'll, I'll show you how to change the filter out on this thing. So, we'll dive right in. So, this is an affordable equation or affordable answer to your fume problem. Um, so, this is a high vac, low volume, and then they also make another filter version that's a high flow, low vac. Problem. So I'll show you here in a second what I mean by that, but but it is good for so it's compatible with Bernard fume guns. It'll hook right onto that. So if you have one of those, um, it's good in tight confined areas uh, because it is a high vac. So it's it's sucking a lot of air. It's moving a lot of air, but it's not getting a lot of flow going through it. But I mean, it is still a good filter. Um, we see a lot of guys run these on say Cobots or on Jetline equipment or just in regular small workstations with a couple of sides on either side so like a three-sided workstation they'll have that so it comes with an apparatus um, I don't know what I did with mine but it's a long gooseneck that's flexible and you can put it into a tight spot or they have a long bar version that goes along like the back of your fab table it's all magnetic it hooks onto this hose and it draws in from a, a longer area uh, but it works pretty good so I got it plugged in here it's all really easy to assemble. I mean, this hose is just a slide on, but it's all like a compression fit style thing. Um, all we're doing is whether we're, oh, you know, clean and replace filter light, on off, and then our variable control. And I'll show you that here. So when we turn that on, it's on. And then what we do, it's on. So when we, we adjust our variable flow, now we're at one, two, we we'll go up to three, and you can start to hear it. You can hear it, hear it suck, so we can go back down to two. So it's pretty, it's pretty quiet. And I mean we're still we're still sucking in some fumes there, so it's got some suction. And we can go all the way up here. Obviously now it's really really flowing from there, but we'll, we'll turn it back down. So it is a smaller unit, 46 pounds. It's good mobile unit for your, your garage shop. I mean, I've seen them in industrial settings as well for small fab areas or someone's crawling in a tight area or a piece of duct work. They throw this up in there, throw the hose in there, and it brings all the fumes out. So on the sides, you can see two turnbuckles here, two on this side, and those come off, and then the top just comes right out. Right? So there's the motor. Everything's right there. And then here's your filter box. So I take that off because that is probably the heaviest part. Your filter's down in there, and then you pop, let's see here, pop these two out. And this should, oh, oh, sorry. Should pop out. I'll show you on the bottom. So that's how your filter comes out. Comes out the bottom, this is your dust collection tray. So they all got nice seals around there. So when it's in that high vac stage, it actually suctions itself together, performs a nice tight seal. All your heavy particulates come to the bottom and then it filters all the uh, fumes out with that filter. But to get the filter out, you undo these wing nuts, filter drops out, we'll link all that down below. They're replaceable. It's all HEPA filters. I mean, they're, they're great filters. They, these things really do work really, really well. Um, for certain applications, now if you got a, say you got a cutting table, this is not the answer. But if you got a small welding station, it's the answer. So the way I mean by that is, it's not going to suck large amount of fume out of the area. But if you have a small, say one welder running, it's going to do great on that because it's just going to have a tight confined area that's going to be drawing from. Um, but it, man, really nice and portable. 110, like I said, I've seen people run them on generators. Just a, for backup power, right? They hook them up, and this thing here goes, like that. goes back together fairly easy. It's got these buckles all there, and then it creates a tight seal. These nice buckles, super easy to change out that filter. Does come with a warranty, just like every piece of other equipment. So if something does happen within that warranty, right, you know, they'll be able to fix everything. Pretty simple, it's just a motor and a filter. And obviously there's multiple 
options you can put on the end of this. So we'll link all those kits down below as well. They sell replacement hoses, um, replacement knobs, and everything like that. So if you get this thing beat up, and I've seen them beat up quite a bit, um, they sell replacement wheels, that sort of thing. If you've got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for some more. Thank mm -hmm. you.